The San Diego VA healthcare system is working down on the farm to help returning vets transition to the civilian world. The partnership is called Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training, or VSAT for short. This unique program not only gives veterans an employment opportunity, but also a chance to decompress and gradually adjust to civilian life. Wow, these are sizing up nice. Yeah, they're good. When Colin Archerplay came back from Iraq, yeah. his wife Karen noticed significant changes in his behavior. He wasn't comfortable driving on the freeways necessarily, in traffic and being in crowded areas. After his second deployment, Colin made the change from his marine lifestyle for what could be regarded as greener pastures. That's when the Archplays bought a three and a half acre farm in Southern California and named it Archie's Acres. And they've created a special niche by growing their produce using bioorganic techniques for sale at local health food stores. Colin, a former Devil Dog Sergeant, now talks about agriculture with the same level of enthusiasm as if he were talking about the Marine Corps' mission. It was Thomas Jefferson who pictured America like a quilt, and each square on that quilt was a small farm. The finger that once pulled the trigger now pulls basil, mint, and avocados. Colin quickly found this hands-on work to be very therapeutic and thought other combat veterans might respond in the same way to this calming environment. And so we really felt like we had an opportunity to extend our hand to other veterans coming back that might be experiencing the same thing. We're piloting a program with the San Diego VA healthcare system called, um, uh, we call it VSAT, Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training. VSAT falls under VA's Compensated Work Therapy Program, or CWT. Colin says he understands that combat veterans can't just turn off the high level of adrenaline that kept them alive in a war zone. What we try to do is offer a safe environment um, that takes all the, the excess stress of the city life, the urban environment away. See ya. Here's what we're doing. Jeff Scanlon, a San Diego VA healthcare system vocational rehabilitation counselor, supervises VSAT and visits the veterans on a regular basis. And it really gives them an opportunity to uh, decompress through this process. And, uh, you know, working with the plants, it's like, you know, working with horses, uh, in a sense, where, uh, you know, they are able to see some of the results. Expenses for vets who work here are shared between VA and Archie's Acres. Archie's pays them an hourly wage, while VA takes care of taxes, health care costs, and workmen's compensation. I get to work with veterans every day. Um, and I know that when we get veterans coming on board, I know they have great leadership skills, great work ethics. The VSAT training program lasts for three months, with each day usually starting before sunrise. One of the veterans working at Archie's Acres is Marine Corps veteran Corey Powell. He deployed to Iraq three times as an infantryman, and when he left the Corps, couldn't find work anywhere. Corey got here, he didn't say a word. Yeah, I think, think it's been a lot easier for me to open up. Um, since I have people here that have been through kind of the same kind of experience I've been through. Another veteran working at Archie's Acres is former Army Ranger Jeff Seltzer, who used to deal with his PTSD issues using alcohol. I didn't play well with others when I first got out. And uh, coming out here, working with uh, my fellow veterans, the Esprit de Corps has really been a godsend for me. It's uh, helped me work on my issues and um, in, a, in a healthy way. Former infantryman Carlos Rivera never imagined he'd be elbows deep in basil after his enlistment in the Marines ended. Never. <laughs> I never did. I never did. And uh, you know what? But I like it. I, I could honestly say that I have a you know, more, I guess, in a way, better time here than I did in there. I think the real cause of it is, one, putting the vets back in the environment or together again and having that sense of unit. And then two, being able to work in a place like this. I mean, this is like Italy and California, so it's a piece of paradise. Something that I found out worked for me is being in an environment like this when I returned from Iraq and dealing with everything I had to deal with. So we figured it'll work for other guys, and it seems like it has. Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training, VSAT, is just one of many VA programs offering compensated work therapy, or CWT. The objective is to support veterans who are anxious to work by matching them with competitive jobs, while at the same time helping businesses meet their employment needs. For more information about VA's Compensated Work Therapy Program, you can go to www.cwt.va.gov.